Good morning and welcome to the channel. Be sure to hit the subscribe button, the little notification button, the bell button, so you don't miss any of my videos so I can get paid one million dollars. Thanks everybody for watching. I'm gonna start doing that beginning of every video. I'm changing my voice and everything. You gotta have that. Welcome to the channel, guys. You gotta have all that. Welcome to the channel. I gotta practice that. Every other channel I see that's got like 10 million views, they all say that. Welcome to the channel. <laughs> like, I can't do it. it. Sounds like a fucking wrestler. All right, guys. We are going to Harbor Freight. So, I'm gonna show you. I took some damage last night. I uh, was behind an 18 wheeler and he had a full blowout on one of his uh, trailer tires and I caught the full tire to the front of the Jeep. And, you know, I'm running 80 miles an hour, 18 wheelers running about 80. And when the blowout happened, there's no time to swerve. I, I'd rather, it's just like with a deer or an animal, I take them square on, man. That's how people die when they swerve to miss shit. When I'm running 80 in a Jeep like this, you swerve, you're gonna fucking roll over. So, uh, I took a tire straight to the front end. I'm gonna show you all the damage it did, which is not much. Thank goodness for this brush guard. This uh, this bumper was custom made and the brush guard. I don't, my guy said he had somebody make it, the guy I bought it from. So it's not nothing you can buy, um, but it took, took it right there right there and we caught a little bit of hood damage but imagine what kind of damage that would have done with no brush guard at all it would have torn up that whole front end or what if it would have been in the car like a regular car um at that height it probably would have smashed the windshield but that's all we uh that's all the damage we took right there right there and on the hood so i'm glad it didn't hit the windshield so we got lucky but it was a full i mean a, the entire 18 wheeler tire just exploded off the rim um so we uh we got lucky on that one people are asking about how noisy these tires are they are very noisy i still can't hear uh, my ears are still ringing from the drive home. Uh, the Jeep drove very good. Um, it's not wobbly. It doesn't drift around. It is, you know, uh, floaty. You know, you just get that floaty feeling. But, I mean, you got to think, man. I mean, look at the suspension. That's going to be floaty. I mean, there's, there's no way to not be that way, running suspension, suspension like that. But we're on our way to Harbor Freight. I used to have a little electric pressure washer from there. It was like 80 bucks. Um, and it lasted me like two years, but it finally burned up. I'm going to go get another one. Did the police say anything? They just said, thank you for helping out. The, it was a pregnant lady. Um, you know, she was like eight months pregnant. Um, she was all stressed out about being stuck. And so she was glad that I helped. And the officer, once he found out it was a pregnant lady, I he was kind of at first, he was like, dude, you're going to hit, hit out here in the road. I was like, I'm sorry, man. I'm trying to get out of here um, as fast as I can, but I have to uh, get her out. And he said, man, I understand. He said, I'll use my lights, make sure you get unhooked and have a safe trip home. So he was glad I, uh, do I still have the Ford? Yes, she is out here shitting in the middle of the road. This is where I got stuck in my own yard uh, last week. And it's been out here shitting in the road so she is dirty too dirty dirty i averaged uh at 80 miles an hour i averaged uh eight and a half miles per gallon which is about what i expected that's running a little faster than i normally would bs the dually's still here she's out here on the road I just don't have a lot of space right now. I got the RVs taking up too much space. Christina's Camaro's in the garage. And then uh, her X5, my Jeep, 
and we have uh, the trailer out here, which this is where I got stuck in my own yard. I was trying to just move over so Christina could back out. And when I moved over, it started sliding. I tried to back up, ended up getting stuck in the ditch. I had both rear tires in the ditch. So of course I had to go full sim with the front tires and uh, it made a mess, a big mess. We actually coated the neighbor's car. That Honda was coated in mud. The fence is still covered in mud, but I did clean off their Honda. Am I still trying to eat better? Man, I've never, when did I say I was gonna eat better? Like I've never said that. Like I, I'm fixing to go get some donuts right now, some kaloshes on the way to Harbor Freight. We're gonna get this thing cleaned up and then we are going to uh, get these decals off and we're gonna vinyl wrap it. I'm gonna show y'all, I have a color changing, like a Mystachrome vinyl wrap that I've had, here I can show y'all real quick. I've had it in the garage for a while. I was actually gonna do the Shelby, and never got around to it. There's mama's weekend car tucked in here in the garage. But I have a full box of 3M Mystachrome wrap that we're gonna do the Jeep in. So, <laughs> Big Don said, nobody cares about your junk car. Yeah, it's just junk, man. Pure junk there, Don. <laughs> it don't get no junkier than that, huh? Christina, you ain't got to delete Big Don. Big Don said your car's a piece of junk. <laughs> Fucking clowns. I couldn't imagine being a troll. Like, I cannot imagine trolling somebody's live videos. I watch a couple people's live videos, but it's people that I like. I can't imagine wasting my Saturday morning watching someone that I don't like. I'd rather watch Paw Patrol with my kids. And I hate Paw Patrol. <laughs> Come on, man. We still got a bunch of... Christina, I'm not a troll like that. But, um... Ugh. I still got a bunch of toolboxes. <laughs> man we uh it took us a while to get home only because we detoured um we took a few detours we went by the corvette museum and then uh also went to uh cabela's where he picked out a little bow and arrow thing for him and picked out a toy for his uh, brother so we kind of took our time and Christina you getting rid of some people huh what's going on here what am I missing Christina I'm telling y'all she's had enough of y'all trolls man and you know what I started doing now, when people send me screenshots to these troll accounts uh, on Instagram that, you know, post pictures of our kids and stuff, the people that send me the screenshot, I keep them, uh, I don't tell who they are, um, but they send me screenshots of all of the followers. Like, one of the pages had 85 followers um, on their Instagram troll page, the one that posts pictures of my kids. Um, I delete. I blocked every single one. Out of 85, there was like 50 people that followed me that also followed the troll page that posted pictures of my kids. So we blocked all 50 people. So 
from now on if i see those troll pages pop up i don't care you can post pictures of me talk shit about me my vehicles whatever you want but when you start posting my wife and my children it gets kind of personal then um obviously there's nothing i can do to you because you're somewhere across the country behind your keyboard in your mom's basement you're allowed to do whatever you want to do on the internet apparently so but i can block everybody that follows you so i don't want to be getting any messages hey man why did you block my account what did i do well you want to follow pages that post pictures of my children then you got to go see like jared fogel these these troll pages you stop it jared you're hurting my feelings. <laughs> you are hurting my feelings, Jared. You stop it. <laughs> I can see you typing away. You're probably on a desktop computer, too. Most of y'all troll motherfuckers are on a desktop. Or on an iPhone, too. You remember how small iPhones used to be? You stop it, Jared. You hurt my feelings. <laughs> you said something mean about my wife. I'm so mad now. <laughs> Alright, guys. I really do have to stop cursing so much on here. Christina uh, told me that there's a little boy, a little one-year-old boy that likes watching my videos. Um likes watching my videos so I've got to clean up my mouth I do way too much cursing on here for no reason I ain't got to curse so much the Jeep drove very well yesterday the only thing uh, that I have a complaint about is the fire extinguisher mounts in the back there's two fire extinguishers they speak and rattle a little bit that's the only thing loose on this entire Jeep. It, uh, I'm actually very surprised at that. The trail by the bridge. Man. No. Y'all aren't going to talk me into it. Jeep like something a teenager would drive. Hell yeah. Would you not have driven it when you were a teenager? I love it. I loved, I would have loved it as a teenager too. Man, I've actually been stuck down there in my, my last Jeep I had on 40s. That's the worst stuck I've ever been in my life, actually. We had to get a full-size tractor out there, two Jeeps with the winches, a Bronco with a winch. I ain't gonna lie, it's kind of good to be back in a, <clears throat> a manual transmission again. Um, I, I'm not gonna like it off-roading, especially rock crawling. I'm not gonna like having to play with that clutch. But um, as far as daily driving, I like manual transmissions. They're, especially for a Jeep like this, it's highly underpowered. You know, this 3.8 is weak as pond water just a weak engine but um with the 538 gears and the manual transmission definitely eases that burden a lot oh. Let's see all right we gotta go harbor freight is about 20 minutes away 
this thing won't do a burnout in the mud. <laughs> it ain't built to do a burnout. Not yet. We're going to uh, do a motor swap sometime this year. That's the that's the plan. As soon as I make enough YouTube money, we're doing a motor swap. Look at there. <laughs> what kind of Look at that Chevy. Doing Chevy things. What's he what's he hauling? Oh buddy. That's a funky looking setup there. Damn Chevy. So sketchy. That Chevy looked like an old build. Looks like it's been around. I bet he's got a backup cam on the Chevy. I'm gonna get a backup camera on here because I sure can't see anything out this back window. I, I didn't mean to run over that sign last night. I'm sorry, taxpayers of Tennessee, I apologize, but y'all gotta replace that sign. It's done. I had to help the pregnant lady. Dan, you didn't watch the video? I was helping the pregnant lady and I was backing up and I ran over a damn sign. It was on accident. It was one of those signs in the median. Alright. The odds here, it's usually a 50-50 chance. They're always sold out of jalapeno and cheese kaloshes. I want a jalapeno and cheese kalosh. I want two of them. But they're always sold out, man. So let's see if we're lucky today. Morning. Two jalapeno and cheese colossus. We only have the regular one. Why? It's still early. <sighs> see?
Who almost went to jail? You go to jail, buddy. I swear, y'all trolls or something else. You want to wait for him? It's going to be like 15, 10 minutes. We're going to put him in the oven right now. We put him on 7 and then turn him and then 7 again. Can I go ahead and pay for him and can y'all just bring him to me out front? Yeah, Two. Two. Make it three. Three, okay. Yeah, since you're making fresh ones. Okay. Thank you. It's like a, I can't explain. It's like a piece of bread wrapped up with sausage, melted cheese, and jalapenos in it. It's a kolosh. You just got to Google it. But we fixing to smash them, I can tell you that. I've been in and out of shape more times than I can count, man. It's uh, it's not a big deal. Like I, I'm not gonna give up eating good food just to look pretty like that. <laughs> I don't mind. I'll go to the gym. I don't mind that. You know that. But I'm not gonna give up. I'm not doing any kind of diet. I'm gonna eat good food, period, until I die. Until I literally die, I'm gonna eat good food. I'm good, man, I'm good. I still got my muscles. Man. <clears throat> You know, I couldn't read all the comments on the video last night while I was live, you know, pulling that lady out. But from what I understand, like, the, for the trolls, I'm going to let you know the, the best case scenario for the trolls. They were hoping that I would break that woman's car, break my Jeep, kill that pregnant lady, kill her baby, kill her husband from a heart attack because I killed his wife and her baby. Then kill two or three people on the road. Um, probably 18 wheelers and a school bus full of children. And then a big explosion and then the cop dies too. That's what the trolls were hoping for. It didn't quite work out that way. But from what I understand they kept hoping that something would go wrong in that whole scenario. Well, it didn't, you know, I pulled out a pregnant lady. She made it out okay. It's, uh, <coughs> it, um, it worked out good. I still have a lot to learn with this Jeep. It's a lot going on in here with, uh, you know, it's got the Atlas twin stick case. It's my first time having one of those with the twin sticks. Um, you know, I can lock in front or rear or the front without the rear. I can literally make this thing a, a front wheel drive. I can put it in four, a two wheel drive low. I mean, I can do a lot of stuff with, uh, with the twin stick. Um, so I got alert. Yeah. What's up, man? <laughs> They're cooking me some fresh kaloshes. They was out. <laughs> the interstate i was helping somebody get unstuck in the interstate oh, really? yeah some pregnant lady was stuck last night so oh, really? okay. we made a mess it is <laughs> that's the owners of uh shipley's donuts they know me here but we have uh the twin sticks and of course we have manual locking dynatrack hubs and then we also have the arb lockers with the compressor so i had to figure all that out to make things work 
So it was a lot to deal with last night when I'd never done it before. Um, I'm used to, you know, I'm, all the Jeeps I've had, you just pull the handle and put it in four wheel drive. Uh, that was all you ever had to do. This is a lot more complicated. It's a lot more built, purpose built for rock crawling, but I had, I got to figure it out. My plans besides motor swap, man, that's it really. That's everything else is, there's no further upgrade for what it is. It's got a $13,000 suspension on it. It's got $17,000 axles. It's got a $4,000 transfer case. You know, it's got a, uh, you know, four grand in wheels and tires. Um, you know, it's got custom cage. It's got air lockers. I mean, it's got an onboard air compressor set up. It's got everything besides the motor and upgraded transmission. I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm still not sure on the motor. I'm open for uh, different options. How I would love, love, love. Yeah, we're doing an audio system. We'll do that this week. I've got all that in the garage. I've got everything I need to do audio in here. I do not want to do the little 4BT Cummins or whatever. The little one that everybody does. I don't want a baby diesel. I want to put a 6.7 power stroke in this thing. I don't know how hard that is. I'm sure it's not easy. But more than likely, it'll just be an LS swap. I'll do, you know, a 6.2 LS um, with probably a Whipple on there or something. But, oh, how I would love to do a 6.7 power stroke swap on this thing. Fully tuned, 600 horsepower, 12, 1300 foot-pounds of torque, black smoke in this bitch everywhere, turbos whistling. You know, I'd love to do a 6.7 power stroke. I don't know if there's enough space under the hood of this thing. I doubt it. I don't know if anybody's ever even done it before. If nobody's done it before, then it's not possible because people have done every possible combination of swaps on these Jeeps that I've seen. Um, but I would love to do a 6.7 power stroke swap. If not, we are probably uh, just gonna do a Junkyard LS, get a 6.0 or a 6.2. Um, you know, out of a out of an Escalade or a Yukon Denali or a like a Sierra with a six two, we're gonna get a six two. Um, everybody's checking out the Jeep. Everybody loves the Jeeps. The kids love the Jeep, man. Kids love Jeeps. All kids love big Jeeps. Christina, why do you say I'm so annoying? <laughs> kids love Jeeps, man. Every Jeep I've had, kids love them. Wait till we do the, we're doing a Jurassic Park and we're wrapping it with the Mystachrome on here. And then we're doing a Jurassic Park uh, logos on the side. So it's gonna be a Jurassic Park Jeep. My youngest, Jojo, he loves Jurassic Park. And uh, I promised him I was doing a Jurassic Park Jeep. So we're doing the Jurassic Park logos on the side and on the hood. And it's gonna have the color changing wrap on it, which I've already got in the garage. Um, so wait till, wait till the kids see that. Kids, kids seeing a Jurassic Park Jeep blow their mind. They're gonna love it. So I'm excited about it. Um, Christina says, "If I do that, I'll never be able to sell it." <laughs> As always, like I say with my last 53 vehicles, Christina. I always say I'm gonna keep it. I, I mean it this time. Y'all mark my words. I'm gonna keep my Jeep this time. I'm uh, I'm not gonna get rid of it. I'm gonna keep it. Because every time I get rid of one, I've had seven Jeeps in the past five years. This is my seventh one. Um, 
I always say I'm going to keep them, and then I get impatient with the mods. I always want, I want everything to be done. I want everything to be done to it, like right away. I want a motor swap. I want big axles. I want, you know, big suspension, wheels, tires, audio. I want superchargers. I want all that stuff. And I get impatient. I want it all done in the first 30 days of owning uh, the vehicle. But the amount of money I've pissed away on other vehicles, if I would have kept one Jeep for two or three years, just, just for two or three years, it would be built exactly how I want it. I get impatient. So y'all help me keep my patience on this one. Like I want to do a motor swap on Monday, but I realize I can't do that right now. We just spent all of our YouTube money for the past seven months. Seven months of me on here running my mouth bought this Jeep. Every dollar I made in the past seven months went to buy this Jeep. So this is 100% YouTube money. <laughs> This isn't from my job. This isn't from, you know, me selling anything. This is literally 100% YouTube money. So I'm uh, I'm very humbled by that. I'm very, very happy. You know, it, uh, very fortunate. Not everybody gets a chance to, uh, hang on. Oh, wow, it's tall. I'm so sorry for the way it's nine more minutes. Okay. Okay. Um, but yeah, this was seven months of uh, YouTube money. So I'm not going to be one of these YouTube channels that gets on here where they got Lamborghinis and Ferraris and, you know, ZR1s and big $150,000 trucks. And they pretend like it's something that they earned when it's based on y'all's views. I didn't earn this, man. I just got lucky. I, that's all it is is pure luck um it could you know so these channels that, that act like they're better than the people that are watching them i'm not not by any means i got lucky i had one viral video that brought me to attention of people and i was able to keep y'all's attention for the past year um you know i'm i i appreciate you guys from the bottom of my heart um seriously uh, trolls too. I appreciate y'all. Um, you know, I, I sit here and make fun of trolls. I'm like, oh, oh your view pays the same as a fan. It's true. Um, well, you got to have trolls with with the fans, man. That's that's the way it goes. That's at any level of fame, whether it be on YouTube or in real life. Um, you have to have the trolls along with the fans. Um, Christina hates the trolls, but that comes with the territory of, you know, having 36,000 subscribers and our 10,000 people on, uh, on Instagram, but it, it is what it is, man. And I know a lot of y'all are like, Oh, that Jeep is, I can, I have a better vehicle and it's a piece of junk, whatever, man. It's not yours. It's mine. I'm happy with it. I searched around the country and found what I wanted. Um, I flew up to Ohio, me and Reed. That turned into a freaking nightmare at the airport, but it's done now. We're back home, and um, we got the Jeep we wanted. So, Yeah, Christina, she's deleted like 500 people off my Instagram, which is fine with me. I told her, I said, uh, get rid of it. I don't care. Get rid of all of them. Um, I don't care if we have a hundred people on Instagram. I don't, I don't need 10,000 followers on Instagram because first of all, I don't make any money on Instagram anyway. So it's not, uh, it's not worth the headache for me. It, um, but, oh, well, it is what it is. Believe me, man, I, I told Christina when I bought this Jeep that it was an investment. Um, I hope I'm I hope I'm right. I hope I actually make money with this Jeep. I hope I make up the money that I took out of our savings account. Because we had, it was $22,000. That was $22,000 we were saving to buy a piece of property at the end of this year. And start building our own, building a new house. 
Um, so I talked to her and I told her, I said, let me use that 20, let me use $22,000 to buy this Jeep and see if I can create more content with it. So we will see, uh, we will see. I think it's gonna make its money back within this year. Hopefully, we'll see. <laughs> Man, I'm hungry. We've been waiting a good bit too. But boy, these things fresh out the oven. That's the best. That is the best. We are waiting. We're at Shipley's Donuts right now. We're waiting on jalapeno and cheese kolaches. And I got three of them. I normally just eat two. But I'm eating three this morning because I haven't had any in a few weeks. What's one truck I would never buy? Anything with independent front suspension. Any diesel truck with independent front suspension I will never buy. Not happening. If you want to know the truth. Other than that, I got no limits. No restrictions. Johan, 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 there's no, there's no Waffle House up there? What about a Tundra? I got no problem with Tundras. My neighbor used to have one and it was a, it was a nice truck. They're, they're fast. They look good. They're clean. They have smooth power. Uh, from what I understand, they don't have a lot of reliability issues. I got no problem with a Tundra. A lot of people think that I purposely picked on a Tundra when I pulled it out. It could have been uh, <coughs> Selwood. It ain't all our savings, buddy. That's my YouTube money. Yeah, I still have a job. Like, I still work for a living, too. That was my YouTube money off of people like you. So thank you for your view. We appreciate it. Um, but I got no problem with a Tundra, man. I, I didn't purposely pick one out to go pull out of the mud it could have been anything stuck down there it could have been another ford could have been a chevy a dodge could have been anything um it just happened to be a tundra down there and anything on stock tires would have been stuck down there any truck in the world on stock tires would have been stuck my truck would have been stuck people really think that i purposely like i got because i was on a couple tundra pages before that i've been a member for years on some tundra pages um, because I used to have some accessories for Tundras that I sold. Um, they all booted. They literally kicked me out of their groups because of how I made a Tundra look on video. <laughs> like, that's some butt hurt, man. I didn't per I didn't pick on the Tundra on purpose. I just uh, it was just there. And I pulled them out. I could have. I'll tell you what I wish it would have been, though. And I think it would have got double the views because it got almost 8 million views on YouTube. I wish it would have been an L5P. I'm not going to lie. I wish it would have been a Duramax with an L5P. Um, that would have been the ultimate vehicle to shit on with six inches of mud pulling it out of the median if it would have been an L5P Duramax. I can't think of a better truck that should have been down there. Ben says say it the correct way. L5P? <laughs> I ain't said that in a while. My L5P? Fresh out and awesome. you got extra for your weight. Thank you, ma'am. You're welcome. Enjoy. Yes, ma'am. Sweet. What do I think about Raptors? Love Raptors. I almost bought one instead of my black dually. I almost uh, bought a Raptor. Um, almost did. They were about the same money, too. My F350 was right at uh, 60 grand. The Raptor was right at 60 grand. I almost bought a Raptor. But I needed to be able to tow more. Yeah, I need a backup camera.
We are almost bought a Raptor. Eddie says, come by. Eddie, I'm going to Pearl. I gotta go to Harbor Freight. I gotta get a pressure washer. I'll swing by uh, this evening. Once I get, I'll get back out of the house this evening and I'll swing by. Why, are you cooking something? Cause I'll sure starve myself for the rest of the day if you got something cooking. Why did I get rid of the black truck? Cause uh, the motor was blown up. I didn't want to put another 20 grand into it. I was already so heavy in that truck. Cause I bought it brand new. I had another, you know, 16 grand in transmission, lift kit, wheels, tires. And I didn't want to invest another uh, 20 grand in a motor swap. And it's just time for it to go. Did I take the stickers off yet? No, man, I just got home at like 1.30 in the morning, man. Give me some time. Eddie, y'all got a car show today? But the um it also has a hydraulic assist steering so it has hydraulic steering along with the factory power steering so i mean it turns these 40s like nothing man and it kept me it drove straight true no death wobble no vibration no nothing the whole way home so i this is my first vehicle with hydraulic assist steering love it i have driven a jeep with full hydraulic steering before on the highway and that was scary as hell when you have no feedback whatsoever when you can literally just turn wheels with with your pinky finger if you wanted to um that's scary so full hydro steering is not good for a street jeep but assisted hydraulic assisted steering is where it's at and the guy just got a brand new clutch put in last week this clutch, you know, had 10 miles on it when I bought it. Yeah, full hydro, man. Great for rock crawling. Not good for highway driving. Like, you have to have some feedback in the steering wheel to be able to drive on the highway. No feedback whatsoever, which is full hydro. That's sketchy. My, on my ass in a Honda Accord, literally like a foot off my bumper. Do they see my rear end? Do they want any part of that rear end that I have on this Jeep. 
Like I could ruin your whole day and just drive away and you, you I'd never even know you were there. Like this rear end has so much metal back there. Rear end, front end, sides, underneath. It's got skid plates on everything underneath. Everything that can be protected is protected, including the gas tank, transfer tank, transmission, you know, all that stuff is protected underneath. I'll show you all full, uh, full underneath, inside out video. I'm gonna put one together uh, so y'all can see everything about this Jeep. But I think we're gonna have some fun with this thing, man. It, uh, Nah, no off-road today, man. There's there's nothing but mud around here. And it's it's obvious that it could go through some mud if I want it to. It's no big deal. It takes so long to clean up for 10 minutes of fun. If I'm gonna go mud riding, it, it has to be like a day ride. It's gotta count, man. Nothing worse than spending 10 minutes in the mud and spending two days cleaning it. So, uh, I am going to, uh, we need to get it cleaned up and get these decals off first. That's the first thing we need to do. Uh, I am going to get these wheels powder coated again. So I'm going to have to take those off at some point. Uh, I'm going to re-powder coat the rims. They're aluminum wheels with aluminum beadlocks. They're 20s. Um, I'm going to polish the beadlocks. I'm going to get those sanded down and uh, sandblasted nice and smooth again. And we're going to hand polish them. Like, like some American forces, it's the same material. We're gonna polish the bead locks and I'm gonna get the rims repowder coated in a gloss black. Uh, my buddy Matt Gordon at Savage Off-Road, uh, he's got a powder coating booth. So we're gonna do that soon. It's, it's a bitch getting bead locks off, um, but I need to do it because the wheels are, the wheels are pretty chewed up from uh, you know, rock crawling. But also, I don't know if this will fit in my garage. I've had Jeep, my Jeep on 40s last time fit in the garage, um, but it didn't have a lift kit. But it cleared it by like five or six inches. So I need to see if this will fit in the garage because it would be so much easier to do a wrap. Uh, the vinyl wrap in the garage. Man, I've had a bunch of auto Jeeps and I've had manual Jeeps. It, it's, it's not a big deal either way. This thing ain't making it at all, man. What's up, Chandler? <coughs> and I've got, uh, yeah, we're doing the Jurassic Park wrap on it. And then I've also got, uh, I've got another set of rock lights, 16 rock lights. We got 16 rock lights that we're putting on here. Right now it's only got four, so we're doing a set of 16 that I have in the garage. Um, so we're gonna have it where it lights up more too. All right, well I'm about to eat my breakfast. I don't wanna do it on camera because it's gonna be embarrassing. But um, I will, uh, once I get back home and get the pressure washer set up, I'll go back live and I'll show y'all how well this little cheap ass electric pressure washer works. Cause I've had one before and I absolutely loved it. 